yeah this uh this bike has a rear suspension on it and so it is it's a very different ride right now than what i'm used to uh but it's uh it's nice on the derriere i want to give a shout out to my friend aaron who is lending me this diamondback bike to try out or just to just to you know use until i can get a new bike uh, because my other bike the axle broke you can see it's right here in the back of my trailer right now i was trying to go get it fixed but i've just got the wheels off and everything uh so that maybe deters someone from coming and taking it but if someone were to come and take it uh <laughs> deal with that one if that happens hopefully not hey everybody i am in rochester minnesota taking care of a couple things that i got to take care of and i was looking up some stuff and i saw some trails called game haven and uh talked to some local people and they said yep that's a good place to go so i'm excited i'm almost there so i will see you guys in a minute and let you know what's going on Okay, everybody i made it to game haven it looks pretty busy back behind me here uh, i'm excited to get to do these trails having never done them before and just exploring again and while i'm away doing business stuff i am excited to continue this journey not giving up and so thanks for joining me see you guys soon Trying to get used to the gears on this bike uh, right by this cool little river this is so refreshing yeah this is peaceful everybody i have a a rental house in rochester here in rochester where i came i had to work on a deck and i've been working on fixing our deck pressure washing it and staining it and uh that has uh i've been doing that and then i had this awesome chance today to golf this morning a maple valley golf course one of the most beautiful courses i have ever been to not not necessarily the greens or anything like that but the uh the scenery was unbelievable and so if you are ever in Rochester, Minnesota, it is, it's called one of the hidden gems of Minnesota, the entire state. This course, uh, Maple Valley. So it's south of Rochester, just a little bit. Well, well worth it. Go hit it up. You will not be disappointed. And it's very affordable, very cheap. So you don't wanna miss it. Okay, so he said, we came to the prairies. He said, if we go left, all right, so loading two mile loop on the, to the right here, to the left, let's see what we got. This is called duck. Let's give it a go. So in listening to some mountain bikers, I've heard that uh, you want to steer one of a beginning mistake is mountain bikers who use their back brake too much. So I'm kind of working on that right now in terms of, of uh, using my front brake. And I said another key thing is that newbies look straight down to the ground in front of them rather than what's upcoming. So I'm trying to do that. Although, ah, uh, here's what he's talking about. Let's see if I can navigate this here. Uh, oh, I almost made it. All right, well, I gave it a go. Oh man, look how beautiful this is. Oh, yep. Oh, 
Man, how do I get a believer? Oh, holy moly. Uh, gotta relax my hands a little more. I'm gripping like crazy. Sorry. Come on through, man. I apologize. I saw you, dude. <laughs> Have a good one. I don't really know why I apologize. I think I felt as though I might have been going the wrong way, but there aren't any signs here saying that, at least not that I know of. I can see why, even just riding the trails, why you would want to look ahead a little bit more rather than looking straight down because that'll help you with the seeing bikes other bikers come. Oh, I need to stop trying to talk to you guys when I'm climbing a hill. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. You too, guys. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. So polite. I love it. It's so nice to ride trails that aren't muddy. Everything that I've been riding so far is muddy. And although these aren't perfectly dry, they're certainly not. Well, I say that and then hit all the mud. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, guys. I'm gonna turn around. I'm not really interested this time and hitting all the mud. Unbelievable. Could not have timed that one better. Yeah, I am digging the suspension for your rear. And the bouncy bounce. I will say, I'm missing my kids and my wife, especially missing my kids riding with me on these. That's super fun. <laughs> I about ate it there, peeps. Holy moly. That was way too close for comfort. Ah, oh, come on. But look at that. Gorgeous. But what goes up must come down. I sounded way too much like my older brother Billy there. I apologize to everyone who knows him. Eh. My quads are burning. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Me like you, the zip line. There's a bunch of. Oh, I oh. heard right here before. All right, two mile loop. Let's go check this out. We were just right up there, and then we took a zip line. A zip line and came down through, came over there. Man, this is beautiful. Oh, look at all these fishermen. This must be a good spot. Holy moly! Look how beautiful that is. Uh oh, I see a trail. Let's 
Let's go see it. I feel like I'm navigating trails better, but I still feel very amateurish about it though too. These are cool. It looks pretty, almost pretty new. But then again, how would I know? But this was the adventure stuff I was hoping for. Again, if it weren't for Aaron letting me use his bike, I would not be able to do this. So thank you again, Aaron. There's a trail right here, but with that being said, I have no idea how far it goes that way. And so, with that in mind, I'm gonna flip it on back and uh, probably take it back to the car and be done for the day. Come on, yes. Hey everybody. Got the bike hair going, bike helmet hair. Holy moly. Finished up the ride at Game Haven. It was awesome. I loved it. You just saw all the trails. Highly recommend it if you're in Rochester, Minnesota, passing through, you got a bike on you, hit them up. Met a couple of really nice people. Uh, man, I am worn out, but this is what I wanted to do. This is what this is about, is getting out, exercising. So and join me if you can. Let me know in the comments what you're doing. Would love to hear that, would love to support you as well. Thank you. See you guys later. Peace.